Hello, this is Faith of Faith and Books. I've just got this camera perched on my knees here. I have been lying in bed all afternoon finishing up this book um, called, uh, I should know this, The Tale of Hilltop Farm. And it's part of the Beatrix Potter Cottage series, I think. And it's by Susan, uh, okay, wait a second, Wittig Albert. Anyway, very cute book. I think it's the beginning of a, um, a series where Beatrix Potter plays a sleuth. Um, this is just the first one, though, so I don't know for a fact. Very uh, clever book. Um, very gentle, very cozy. It's set in um, the little town of Near Sorry, where Beatrix Potter actually lived. And near her hilltop farm, the farm she bought, um, right after her fiance died, and um, and that actually happened. At the end, the um, author has a note about how it's really set in this histo historical time period, um, and there are some real characters um, that uh, lived in the village that um, are in, also in this book, and it starts out with several mysteries. There's a sudden death, and then there's also at least three thefts that go on. And um, as the book unwinds, you know, you discover that they all get solved. Um, but it's very gentle, and what was really fun about it is the, the uh, uh, Beatrix Potter's pets, and she has um, a mouse, and they're all named after characters in her little books. Um, and she's got two rabbits and um, the hedgehog. This is Tiggy Whipple. And, um, and then there are pets from the village itself. Uh, and they all talk to each other. And they help solve the mystery, or at least one of the mysteries. So it's very cute that way, in that you sort of enter into the world of her books. And at the same time, you're entering into her actual life. Um, so I thought it was very clever and very well done and very gentle, um, which is, I like that in a mystery. Um, there were a couple of weird, like, editing things that they could have done better. Um, like, they, one of the rabbits' name was Josie, but at one point they spelled it J-O-S-I-E, but the rest of the time it was J-O-S-E-Y. Um, there were a couple of other just weird little continuity issues. So it could have been edited a little bit better, I think. But the writing itself was lovely. Um, she really caught the, the feeling of being in a little English village at the turn of the century. Um, I thought it was really well done. I enjoyed it, and I, I really hope to read um, more in the series. And I'm super into Beatrix Potter right now. Just all things Beatrix Potter. I even just downloaded on my uh, Kindle a book called Beatrix Potter, Her Life in Nature, um, which I'm looking forward to reading after I finish my other Kindle read, which is uh, about beavers. I think it's called Eager Beavers, something like that, which is very interesting. Anyway, so this was my only cloak and dagger entry for uh for the cloak and dagger challenge. So I didn't get too far, but I did really enjoy this book. And so I highly recommend it. Um, and so that's it. That's it for me. And I'll see you tomorrow for the third day of Christmas. Goodbye. Merry Christmas.